Hey everyone, uh, Geo and Chris here, again. Hey, what's up? So, uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing uh, another authentication thing. It's authentication through header, uh, when the API key is in the header. And we're going to be using DeepAI's text summarization API. And Chris, take it away, man. I think Oops, you're sorry. Right. I was a yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, it, I, it, it always happens with me, primarily because of the sound around. So this is going to be a fun video where we would demonstrate how authentication happens through an API key sent through the header. So it'll be like a parameter, not a parameter. It'll be like a key value pair in the header of the HTTP request. So let's get started. Yeah. I think you are already there. You've got the API name, private key in header is the authentication. So the, as soon as you select private key in authentication in header, you've got authorization as the key name, right? Yep. Yeah, cool. So let's go to head to the documentation. Click on that. Okay, so those are some of the samples. Um, okay, so that's your API key. Mm -hmm. So Gyo, could you copy that? text, please, the one that has hyphen H, API hyphen key, colon, and a bunch of... Right, first numerical. of all, yeah. before I copy anything, can you just explain what these are? F and H, what does this mean? Okay. So curl is a Python command, is, is, is a Linux command to invoke HTTP requests. It's called C URL, okay? Hyphen H stands for header. So if you have X number of headers, you can pass that using hyphen H and in a key value pair. So let's say you have uh, another header, you could, in the next line, you could say, you could add hyphen H followed by the key value pair of that particular header. Hmm. So hyphen H is for the header, hyphen F. Typically we use hyphen F to pass form data, hmm. okay? Form data, and if you remember what we spoke about in our previous uh, video, form data is essentially a mechanism to send data in an HTTP request when I am invoking a POST method. Hmm. So the minute I saw hyphen F, I know for sure 90% this is going to be a POST and hyphen M essentially translates to form data. Form data would again be in key value pair. Hmm. Okay, All so right. in nutshell, that's what these, uh, 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 yeah, that's what this would mean. All right, so I'm going to copy this. And mm -hmm. probably paste here in the key value. Yeah, probably paste there. Yeah, we'll see. So, so we do not know what the. I mean, this is the first time we are doing a private key in header. Mm -hmm. I do not mm -hmm. know what what bubble is looking for. So we'll just keep this like this, and we will try our luck. Okay. All right. So what's so next? That's, so next is we would now create an API call. All you right. can name it text summarizer or something, summarize. Yeah. Uh, does it have to be this, action? Okay. Yeah, so the fact that this is a post request, this has to be an action. All right. So is this JSON? I just wanna... That continues to remain JSON. So how do you know that? Because there's nothing mentioned anywhere talking otherwise. Hmm. All right. So the default is JSON, and I'll keep it as JSON. And that then we'll changes have to, to do post. post, and, and probably this is where you'll have the endpoint. Endpoint is yes, is that you are an HTTPS. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Oh, so you have different. Oh, the same URL is for everything. Yeah, right? it's Whether the same it's... URL, and I, I guess there are different ways of invoking the URL. One is with free form text or you could give it a text file, hmm. or you could give it a URL. We, we, we'll not look at all of those, but when we get to that yeah. point, we'll probably talk about it. Okay. So that's about it. I think we've got most of it. Okay, let's hit initialize. Fantastic. So we've got an error. Please oh, pass a valid API key. Okay. All right. Looking at the error, it probably means that, yeah, the API key at the beginning of the string 
is actually the key name and authorization is should just be deleted so copy that get rid of authorization and remove the colon okay let's initialize another error fantastic so let's let's read the error error processing given inputs from the request so what could this mean it could probably mean that way i sent the inputs to the http request is malformed most likely the inputs are malformed because of the body type so let's go to json make that form data okay or should we and add the parameters or okay yeah 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 we'll do that but let's say initialize to see if the request is going through error processing given inputs from the request same error now let's go ahead and add the parameters okay so what so are the go in, uh, yeah go to the documentation so your first parameter the only parameter would be text and so how do i no, so it's it's part of the same example that you were looking at scroll up yeah so curl hyphen f text no 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 scroll down yeah yeah so um so curl hyphen f text equals to your text url or whatever right so text is the name of the parameter you can keep that there like this okay and yes and let's just put in something just put in something to test whether the api is working something yeah Oh, uncheck, uncheck private. Yep. All Fantastic. Right. So this means it worked. Yeah. So now everything is fine, I guess. Yeah. So pretty much everything. If you could click on uh, show raw data. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just to ensure we are. We, okay. Just scroll down. Okay. So it looks like it did something. It did some kind of summarization because the text you entered or you you yeah you entered in that field it's pretty lengthy and we here just have a few lines so it looks like it did something hmm. uh, i think we are looking good let's we're done, go right? ahead and build the app yep okay. we're done let's go ahead and build the app so to build the app we're going to need an input field a button to uh, summarize the text and a text area where we're where we're going to display the text uh summarized text right so first of all let's start with the let's start with the rich text input field and let me change this to tooltip oh basic or maybe okay so we're gonna have this text here and we're going to use the button this summarized text and let's do the let's do the text below it but first of all I'm gonna have to use the group to make sure that I can send the data to this group uh, result and then I'm gonna have a text inside the group all right it's not going to be this it's going to be parent things okay whatever I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish this later on so when the summarized text is clicked we are going to do the following stuff uh, we're going to um, go to plugins deep AI summarize and the text is going to be insert dynamic and rich text input is value and that's it and i'm going to send this data to our group display data group result and result of step one's output or just result of step one okay Oh, I forgot to set the type of that group to be this result. So that's it. 
and I think we're done and this text is going to be paired group summarized tests text output and I think we are done so let me paste the text here summarize and that's it I hope this is summarized well all right so this was our another video about the authentication methods uh, we've done um, almost all of those we're left with the OAuth which is uh, coming next JSON JWT and we are good to get to the funny stuff after this and interesting and cool stuff where we are going to do like specific APIs of specific apps and we're going to create some cool stuff uh, for people to use probably right yep <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Krish, and uh, take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.